This is what a typical attic looks like. As you can see, there is insulation covering up any air intake vents. Another very super important part of ventilating an attic, though often neglected, is the intake. The exhaust does not work without intake. So you may have soffit venting, or you may have soffit vents that are covered up with insulation. So there are a number of different products. This one here made by Lamanco allows us to put a slot in the roof just above the insulation line. They come in four foot lengths, this particular type here. And that slot is lined up with the back of this. There's a little bit of protection for insects. It does not allow water in, but it allows air up and in so that the exhaust can actually work. Uh, the ends are designed so that you can cut it and flip it around to make sure you have support underneath it. You have underlayment below it. You have underlayment and shingles that go over the top. And that intake then allows the exhaust system to work. So on this deck here, the manufacturer has a ribbon here where you can see to make your two inch slot. So after removing the shingles for the slot, you then measure your marks right here and then you snap in your chalk line. Once you have your chalk lines in, then you cut in your two inch gap before installing the deck air. If you have 60 feet of ridge vent, in order to have an equal or greater amount of intake per square inches, you want to have 30 feet of deck air on one side and 30 feet on the other side to equal the amount of exhaust you have on the ridge vent. Okay, again, following the manufacturer's guidelines, we've made the, the cut for the ends and one foot away from the end is where the slot is gonna be cut. All right, we're right across the street from the house we were just looking at, one that we did about a year ago. And you can see we have the deck air installed here, also on that side. You want half the number of feet of deck air on each side to equal the number of feet of ridge vent on the top. 